What is up, my dudes? This is Yard Brown. You're tuning into another episode of my lawn. All right, so today's an exciting day. We got a package with the right parts. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Parts Warehouse, for the amazing parts. Right now, I'm cleaning the deck of the Ego LM2100. We are going to beef this guy up. He is going to be uh, like a quarter of a select cut LM2150 SP. Oh, it's going to be so nice. You know, you got to take this yard stuff day by day because most of the time the weather people say that it's going to rain and then it's super sunny. Like Easter Sunday was a phenomenal weather day. So I had to get out there, you know? We're filming this in amazing weather. We got these amazing parts. We're gonna beef this guy up and then we're gonna cut and show you guys how amazing this conversion is gonna be. This might be the next mini beast. The LM2100 on steroids. All right, first things first, you're gonna stick a Phillips screwdriver into the, the little hole that stops the blade from spinning. And then you're going to use your 916 socket to take off the flange bolt and the washer. The OEM blade has been a delight. Thank you for your service, my friend. You have served us well. Many blessings to your future journeys and grass cutting. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep this guy around just in case I have to, you know, help some more people with their crusty lawns. I'm gonna put this blade back on and, you know, it'll do some damage. This is the damage control blade. After you get that off, make sure you take the fan off. The LM2100 fan is a little bit thicker than the new fan we're gonna put on. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and wipe off the base of the fan uh, location. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I opened the package before this video because I was didn't want to get let down again. And I wanted something to do today, so if this wasn't gonna be it, I wanted to make sure that you know the parts were there or not there. Thank God they were there. Alright, we have a couple part numbers here for you guys, and I will definitely have them on the bottom of the video here. You have the Ego Fan 3403110001. You have the Ego Prevailing Torx Hexagon Lock Nuts. You need two of those. Ego part number 5630351002. The Ego Bolt that attaches the blades together. You need two of those. Ego part number 5640321002. You also have the Flange Bolt that attaches the blade and fan together. Ego part number 564. 0226002 and then the washer that goes on top of the blade and then the flange bolt goes on top of that ego part number 5650705002 since we do a lot of bagging in the front and the back i'm not really mulching i went with the ego power plus high lift bagging blade set part number ab2102d It's a thick, it's a thick blade. All these parts totaled to $19.32 from partswarehouse.com. Putting the blades together is very simple. You see the top blade, it says this side faces the deck. You see the bottom blade, this side faces the grass. Okay, and then you're gonna put the bolts on the top part. That way it can nestle in nicely with the fan and then you're going to put your two lock hexagon lock nuts and you're going to tighten it all up with your 9 16th socket wrench very simple very simple now make sure that these bolts are seated in correctly because they're supposed to be seated in if you don't seat them in correctly and they're not laying flat you will get some shakes you will get some wobbles you might cut your ankles off so make sure it is seated in uh, properly. A little comparison here to the select cut high lift blades compared to our stock crusty dusty 
denty, chippy, LM2100 blade, it's going to be a world of difference. I can't wait. Look at that sharpness. It is so sharp. It is amazing. I can't wait. This is, I'm so close to installing this thing. All right. Now you're going to put the fan on at the base of the deck where the fan used to go. Make sure that the blades are facing the lawnmower and it's flat on the bottom side. Now this also goes in a, a certain way. So make sure that it does seat properly. Ego fan 34031001. Definitely, definitely a lot thinner. If you are, I, I've seen a lot of YouTube guys put this fan on without doing this conversion properly. And they're like, well, your height of cut's gonna be a lot lower now because it sits a lot lower than the deck. Yeah, that's not safe, my friend. That's not very OSHA approved if you catch my drift. Get the right damn parts, you lazy mother trucker. We want the correct height of cut. If I'm on level one, I wanna be on level one. If I'm on level three, I don't want it to be level one. Okay, I like my ankles. I don't want them cut off. Gosh, some YouTube guys, I swear. Okay, next up after the fan is the blade and then the washer and then the bolt. Very simple and make sure this stuff is seated properly. Okay, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that are fumbling around with it and it's not seated properly or it's shaking. Well, guess what? You didn't line it up. This, these things line up and then look at the actual washer, okay? There's a flat side, there's a round side. It is tapered. Make sure you're putting the flat side down of the washer, not the rounded side. That will cause major wobbles. And again, you might cut off your middle uh, foot toe. You, you need that for stability and balance or else you'll be tripping all over the place when you're mowing. You need your middle toe, okay? Make sure that you use the flat side down on, on the washer. <laughs> it's so early and I haven't, I haven't had my coffee yet and I'm doing this voiceover. Don't forget to stick that Phillips screwdriver back in so it'll hold the blades in place while you tighten it with your 9 sixteenths good old socket wrench. After you hand tighten the blade down, make sure everything's seated properly. Go ahead and mess around with it a little bit. Make sure nothing's loose. You're gonna wanna get your expensive ass Husky torque wrench like I have. This thing's pricey, I like it. It's very sturdy, comes with a nice case. Very protective, very uh, armored case, if you may. And we're gonna set this to the minimum of 36 foot-pounds of torque. Ego recommends 36 to 43 foot-pounds of torque, but like I said before in previous videos, I've seen the higher end of the torque and the blade doesn't spin very well, it's too torqued down. We're gonna go on the low end just to make sure it's very secure. 36 foot-pounds of torque. Every time I hear that click, I just, you know, in my head I'm like, ooh, I'm safe. It's a nice feeling, same, same with your car rims. You know, you're like, click, click, oh, we're gonna be driving safe. Go ahead and start this beast up and make sure it's not wobbling all over the place. Wow, first impressions, whoa. A lot more powerful, a lot louder. You can feel like, ooh, it makes me nervous, it's nice. Ooh, yeah, this is a good, ooh, my, look at the blades. Holy steroids. It's like this guy took some clenbuterol He's all ripped now. Little steroid action. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is level two on the sidewalk strips and it is cutting a noise. Man, it's so sharp. What have we been doing? We've been sloughing. We've been getting away with a dull, crusty, chippy blade. Man, this is a treat. This is a snack. This is a lawn snack. This is amazing. Look at this. It's like a really clean cut carpet now. It is a carpet of carpets. This is a clean, clean cut. 
whoa, I feel special. This feels like when you put a bigger motor in a smaller car. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you grab a, let's just say, a BMW Z3 and you put a giant BMW uh, 7 Series 8 cylinder motor. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? That would be a monster. That would be an epic, oh man. In the future, I'm gonna build one of those. This is like that. You're upgrading the blades. It feels good. It's cutting good. We're at the right height, so you know we did it right. Look at this, guys. We are. This is professional grade. This is a professional upgrade. Oh, it feels so good, guys. Oh, if you have one of these, oh, if you have an LM2100 or an older one, and you upgrade to this select cut conversion, you're gonna be nothing but smiles. Me. Nothing but smiles. Yup. Smiles. All smiles. I'm giddy. I'm just a little, I'm just like a little giddy person. I'm still sore from all that sand scaping. <laughs> so I, you know, I was going to actually edge with the ego edger on the attachment. But, you know, why not use the string trimmer? I'm still practicing this. Don't judge me. The lines are horrible. I'm still practicing. I know, but the nice thing is I have an edger, so if it looks horrible, I can go out there the next day and just edge it out. Finishing it off with a little nice blow action and a little uh, uh, a nice uh, sprinkle automatic sprinkler action from my cell phone controlling the orbit beehive. It is just delightful, glorious. There's nothing better than sitting back and or you know standing somewhere. You know what? It's looking a little dry right now. I did overseed it. It's looking a little dry. We need a little bit more moisture. whoop Boom. Push the button. Water comes flowing. Like the salmon of Capistrano. 
that's how we do it now. We're, we're, we're getting professional-ish, and we're upgrading everything. It's amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been, this is a treat. I'm, like, stupid excited about this. Overall impressions, go do it. Go, and even if you don't have an Eagle lawnmower, go buy a cheaper LM2100, and then do this conversion. Don't go spending $800 on the new 2156 SP or an older uh, 2150 uh, SP, those things are still like 600, 600 to 800 bucks. I saw an LM2100 the other day for 80 bucks without the battery. Go buy a battery for 150 bucks, boom. Shoot, and then buy this conversion kit that cost me less than what? Uh, 60 bucks, including the blade and all the parts? Come on. Get on it. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Crazy.